We're still in Genesis chapter 2, so much to learn, and we're in verse 24. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So this passage then, it's saying that this meeting between Adam and Eve is the basis for marriage, and it is, but it's also a basis for other relationships that we have uh, in our lives. So if you look at the passage, it says that the man shall leave his father and mother, but Adam did not have a father. I mean, he's the first father, he's the first man. And the passage says that he has to join uh, with his wife. And, and so what does it mean for Adam that he, a man had to leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife? Uh, in what way did Adam leave? Of course, he didn't leave Eden, but I think that the passage is saying that when Eve came into Adam's life, Adam had to make adjustment for her because he's the one who's been there in Eden for all this time and probably he had fixed a spot in Eden that was his, his base, his home or wherever he stayed. We don't know where it was, but he had a life in Eden and when Eve came, he realized that the preparation he had made for himself did not include a second person. And so he had to move from his place of safety and security and make adjustment for the second person that has come into his life. So what we learn basically from this passage is that when God brings people into our lives, we need to make adjustments to receive them. You cannot receive people into your life as you are and whether you are a man or a woman, each one of us live our lives for ourselves. But when somebody comes into our lives, we have to make adjustments. We have to make room. And so for Adam and Eve, although they are uh, individuals and each one is complete in themselves and each one can live their lives, they choose to live together as a husband and wife. And, and that simply means that marriage is a choice. And interestingly, when God brought Eve to Adam, he didn't force her into his life. He had to accept her and she has to also include him into her life. And the two of them decide they're going to start life together. So though each of you can live your life and each of you can be successful, when you come together, you need to make adjustment for one another. And, and it's a very important principle for marriage. Sometimes you see people who are married and everybody living his life and, and nobody really leaving and making adjustments to include the other person into their lives. But if this union is going to work, you have to make adjustment. But it goes beyond marriage. If you have a business, and, and, and new people joining a business, you need to make adjustment for them. If you're parents and you have a, an addition, a child is born into the family, you need to make adjustments uh, of your time, of your space, of your effort, of your finances to include this new person that has come into your life. If you're a church and God grows your church and, and bring people to the church, you need to make adjustment for them. You can live your life as you were when you were all alone in the church. So for whenever God brings somebody into our lives, we need to make adjustments for them. And I pray that as God blesses you and brings good people around you, that you will not keep them away and let them run out uh, on their own, but you make adjustments so they can be included in your space and be part of your life. Let's pray together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to make adjustments for the people you bring into my life, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Friend, allow people space in your space. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.